Okay, in this quick video we're going to show how you would put bounding volumes on your avatar and then arrangement points. I'm just going to work with a simple square as you can see. I've imported this as an object. This was actually made up of 3D or pattern pieces in Clo and exported out. I'm going to start by going into the avatar menu and then into avatar editor. Okay? This particular object here, there are no bounding volumes or uh, arrangement points here. If you happen to open an avatar and you still see these options here, you can select them here in either window, shift select them, and then delete them. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to actually ha keep my arrangement points and bounding volumes turned on here in my 3D toggle menu. I'm going to click this plus sign and here I have been given a bounding volume. The default bounding volume as you can see whoops is a like a tube okay and what we're going to do with this is we are going to change the shape and the size of this. As you can see you have joints listed here we don't have joints here um, you have a shape, you have a cuboid or cylinder. We're going to leave this as a cylinder for the moment. And then you have height measurements here. Height, length, X and Y. So if I change these X and Y to a larger number, they can be the same size or different sizes. And the same with the height. So what you should do here is decide how close you need to put this to your shape and what shape you need it to be. In this case, we could make this a cuboid shape to fit our avatar. Now, whatever the difference is, is in the shape of the bounding volume and the shape of the avatar will be the distance between your arrangement points that you put on here. This will also dictate whether when you place a pattern it is placed flat or curved. So here I'm going to say on this particular bounding volume, I'm going to call this the horizontal because it goes around and is parallel to the ground. Now if I add another one, I'm going to leave this one circular. And this one we know is 15 by 15. I'm going to make this the same size, 15, 15, 15. But I am going to rotate this with the gizmo. And I'm going to hold shift so that it snaps at 45 and 90. And then if I move this up like this, you can see then I have my, arrange, my bounding volume going around my box. I'm showing these two just to show you the difference uh, when you place the um, arrangement points. And this one I'm going to call vertical. Okay, so you have added bounding volumes and you can do this for as many different shapes as that you have. Um, if you have a, for example, if you were to have a, um, a handle for a handbag, you could make this much larger and even skinnier. So if this were the handle for our handbag, we could have it arranged something like this. Let's leave it like that so that it can serve our purpose. 
Okay, now when I add arrangement points, I'm going to add a handful, I'm going to add three or four arrangement points. Okay, as you can see, nothing is here. What I have to do is select these arrangement points, and I'm just going to number them right now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what I have to do is I have to select that arrangement point and assign it to the bounding volume that I want. So I'm going to start by assigning the first one to the horizontal volume. And what you can see is, there is where it has been placed. Okay? Now, what I can do is, I can change where these go on the bounding volume by changing these measurements. For example, if I rotate this all the way around to zero, it goes to the other side where it was. If I say 25, it's going to go on that corner so let's settle on 13, and this is in the front. And then I have a wrap direction, down or up. Okay? I can also change where this goes vertically, so that if I want there to be a number of options, top, middle, bottom, I could assign other points at the similar coordinates, but further down. For example, if I take, I'm going to say that is 80, I'm going to take number 2, and I'm also going to assign this to horizontal. I'm going to change this to the same measurement, and as you can see, this Y offset is at 50. Okay? I can also change the offset so that it is further or closer to my avatar. Note that when you place a pattern piece on an arrangement point, it goes inside the avatar. If I take placement number three and assign it to the vertical, there it has been assigned all the way down at the bottom. So here, if I change this, I can swipe this all the way here, that now is at zero. I like to work with the slider to begin with to find out where I am. And then if necessary, I put an exact measurement in here. Then I'll do the same with number four and assign it to the vertical. It goes in the same place as that one started. And I could move this up here and place it wherever I want. Again, the key is adding bounding bot volumes and then placement points and assigning the placement points to the bounding volume. Then once I come out of here, if I then turn on my arrangement points, there are my arrangement points, and if I want to see them, there are my bounding volumes.